Hello everybody, I thought I would just do a little video, sorry I'll zoom in a little more, um, just to talk about Taylor's reading card deck. And this here is my newest, this is Fifty Shades of Black Tea. It is and comes with a beautiful high gloss book and all the meanings and I've written them out in big format here and a bit about me and I think it's in the front is all about tea, inquirers, things there so we've got the whole booklet it comes in a little bag and I love this it's hot stuff and I couldn't resist it I had to put the red lips on it now this here is my personal deck and I had a friend ask me um, about deck edits and or deck modifications my deck here a lot of people probably love it is black edged now that's just me personally they're not printed that way but what i wanted to show you is if you are doing any deck edits whether it's my cards or any other cards some people do an oracle card some people cut off borders on cards and so on um but she was saying karen i love the black and i said oh that was easy i did that with a sharpie so i just wanted to show you here's another deck how i do the deck edits now disclaimer here this is done at your own risk not uh, on my advice but I just want to show you if you're going to do it the way to do it properly is use a proper sharpie that says permanent marker it doesn't have to be a chisel tip but permanent marker not sharpie paint pens because sharpie paint pens are a sticky opaque like they leave a film or a vinyl on them this one is a standard sharpie permanent marker this one, oops, get top off it, um, has a, what they call a chisel tip, which is a square tip on it. The other ones you can use as smaller Sharpie markers. This one's just red, but uh, not black. But I'm just showing you, it's got to have permanent marker written on it. This one's just a fine point. This is just a red. So how do I do my black edits? Slow process. Take your Sharpie, pick up your card one at a time and you'll see it's got a white edge and all you do is simply go around it, make sure you are dead on, don't lean over or don't lean back because you're going to end up with bleed marks each side. So this is why it's very important to do one card at a time. And if you are grabbing, I'll show you, if you are grabbing, you just get your corners, voila, one card done. If you are grabbing a whole deck like that and trying to go colour, 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 what will happen, it will actually bleed down inside and you're going to end up with watery smudgy marks on the face and on the back of your cards so deck edits if you are going around them with a marker two things permanent marker and one card at a time and yes that might be slow and that's how you would do it now i'm only doing this deck here because i've got a girlfriend who's asked me to do it uh, and no, I will not do deck edits for anybody else. You can do that yourself. This is just for a friend. So that's how you do deck edits. And then once you've done them all too, by the way, I wouldn't straight away and stack them. I would leave them scattered everywhere. Uh, main reason is just give them time to dry. So, and that way you end up with certainly a black edged 50 shades of black tea so there you have it that's how i do my modified deck thanks for listening